Okay, I'm going to make a soap today. In fact, I'm just moving some crap out of the way. Um, it's Saturday and I'm just making a few batches of soap. So we'll get to working on these today without interruption from people outside. I've locked the door so they can't get in. Okay, so today I'm making magpie soap. And magpie soap is a blend of spearmint oil and patchouli oil. So it's just a white base with a black swirl. And I've been making soap already today, so my equipment is a little bit messy, but you'll just have to deal with it, okay? So I'm going to stick this up. It's soaping a bit cooler because this is sort of a... Uh, it kind of separates a bit and then comes back together, which I start stick blending more. So it's just about room temperature. It's sometimes a little bit too cool my oils in now and this is my spearmint and patchouli so it's quite dark that's a new batch of patchouli oil as well I had the other week and it's lovely okay now I just want to pour some off for my black which I have here so I'm just using a bit of charcoal and there we go like that. And then I want some white. Mm. I wonder where my spoon went there. Just give that a stir. So just some titanium dioxide in water. Just a little smidge of water just to get it in there. And save the rest for the next soap. So I'm going to do a lavender one next. Okay. I'll take most of that out and I only need a bit for the top then. Okay. Then just pour the black. So I've just been listening to another podcast. This time I'm listening to True Crime Garage again. And the one that I'm listening to is Kanika Jenkins, a case from just last year, a young black lady who went missing um, when she went to a hotel. And I've only, I'm only about like halfway through the first episode. There's two episodes of this, this one. And she'd gone missing and her mother obviously knew that something was wrong, you can hear it in her voice when she makes the phone call, it's like, it's, call it mother's instinct, intuition or whatever. But she knew that something was up because her daughter hadn't come home and she'd barred the car and she was a really bright young girl and she'd gone missing and ended up being found in the freezer or the fridge section of this hotel. And, oh God, I'm only a little way through, but, um, yeah, sorry, a bit of a morbid subject as usual on this channel. But um, yeah, interesting to listen to, but it, oh, vile, how vile. And some of you are right, you know, I don't know why I do listen to this. I'm just fascinated by what happens to people and I'm not justifying myself because I'm just past that, you know, I don't need to. There's so many people like me that listen to these things, but um, yeah, it's um, tragic, but intriguing all at the same time. So that's a good one to listen to if you're a podcast freak like me. 
I'm about 120 episodes into True Crime Garage. I'm going to catch up soon and be, you know, to the point where I'm like at their recent stuff. <laughs> so I listen to them nearly every day. It's like I go through phases of um, different podcasts where I, you know, I've got like new favourites. So I did Best Case, Worst Case and I did True Crime Profile and that's the one with Jim Clemente and Laura Richards and the other one is with Francie Hakes best case worst case I love that one I really like Francie Hakes she's great and Jim Clemente is great so I really enjoyed listening to those but I've got a load more to get into after I'm done with True Crime Garage it's like you get to know these people that are doing the podcast and it's like they're just like your friends <laughs> So shout out to True Crime Garage, or Garage, if you're from the UK. It's like Matt says, oh, what are you listening to tonight? True Crime Garage. He's like, Garage? <laughs> it's like, it's funny how the American language creeps into the British language, because so much of it is coming from, you know, watching video on YouTube and stuff like that. It's crazy, really, but it happens. Anyway. <laughs> Crime Garage. I'm listening to that and I've got, I'm going to start listening to Generation Y, I think. That'll be the next one. So let's get this uh, top done. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see this again. It's always nice to see it close up, I think. There you go. We just come round. And we're just going to lift up that black from the side and bring it over as usual. like a magpie and I've got some black salt to put on the top quite like how that looks there so that'll be a nice Instagram close-up <laughs> just gonna take my gloves off a sec just to do the salt because I find it really difficult to work with gloves on I'm trying to do a sprinkle so sprinkle is going to go down this side here on the top. So yeah, I've got Generation Y to listen to and I'll show you in a minute my um, podcast player so you can see the list of things that I've got in my list, um, in my wish list or, you know, things to listen to then, my playlist. Christ, get your words out. Okay, so there is Magpie. Just going to pop up to the side and I'll show you this podcast thing I use. So my phone, hopefully you can see this. I use Podbean Player and all of my as you see, if you can see this, because it'd be a shame to be showing you and you can't see a thing. I need to flip my screen. Kind of see it. I'll come on this side for you. So I've got British history, and that's all about British history to listen to. Desert Island Discs, Atlanta Monster. That is fantastic. I've been really enjoying listening to that. All Killer No Filler. Someone Knows Something. I really like that. Serial. I love that. Lime Town. Murder Town. The Secret Room, that's quite interesting, listening to people's secrets, that's funny. Uh, Crime Junkie, The Peripheral, Generation Y, Disgraceland, Teacher's Pet is fantastic, Cold Case Murder, Real Crime Profile, <laughs> Best Case, Worst Case, True Crime Garage, This American Life, They Walk Among Us, and then there's an FBI retired case file. So that's, <laughs> that's my playlist for my Podbean player. So um, call me sad, call me what you want, but that's what I like to listen to. <laughs> Okay, I will see you for the cut of this one. Ta-ta.